Hey guys, welcome back. How you doing? Cheers, 17. And today I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to talk to you about, but I am going to talk to you about this beer. This, I just cleaned the glass so it's got a little frost on it. This is, actually it's not a glass, it's plastic. Uh, this is a stout and it was made using this extract beer kit. This was sent in quite a while ago. It came with uh, yeast and a little packet of hops and a bag of liquid malt extract and that's all it came with. There was no grains, nothing. Um, so, you know, I didn't know how it was going to taste. I did talk about this before and I did thank the person who sent it. Unfortunately, I've lost the note that came with it, but uh, he or she knows who they are. I believe it came from the UK. And so, as you can see, it's an Easter brew. Is that how you pronounce that? Chocolate Stout Premium Beer Kit, 23 liters. Um, let's give this a whirl. Now, I have already tasted it uh, when it came out of the keg, when it came out of the fermenter. And, you know, look it, it's an extract beer. Liquid malt extract, a little bit of hops, added a, a dry hopped. I added a little extra hops to it myself just because I felt like it. And a package of dry yeast. That's all it was. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to describe this to you. I, I have really only tasted it when it came out of the fermenter. So now it's carved up. It's got a nice golden foam layer on there. About a one finger that is. And it was a little bit more than that, but of course it calms itself down. You can't see through it. It's as black as all get out uh, because it's a stout. Oh man, now look. That has a really, um, it's chocolatey. <laughs> it's, it's got like a little tiny licorice thing going on in there. I'm not sure what, how to describe that, but it's best, uh, definitely a chocolate uh, stout. Um, uh, you know, it's an extract beer. All it was is this box. Let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> it's good. It's good. I'm sorry. Um, more, much better than I expected. Oh. Okay, there's definitely some chocolate malt in there. Some roasted, dark roasted malt. Quite a bit of it, actually. On the verge of almost being too much, but not quite. If you have any chocolate malt lying around, which I do, you eat some of that, and it's very, um, it's, it's kind of bitter. Uh, it's kind of like when you eat uh, unsweetened chocolate, you know, Baker's chocolate. Um, it's kind of like that. And um, if you add too much of it to the beer, it can kind of take over. This is quite heavy in that area. It also has uh, a little bit of a sweetness to it. So looking at maybe some caramel malt or something that's in there uh, as well. And um, the hops that I added to it when I dry hopped it, see it came with this little, um, like a tea bag. And it said after about four or five days, just uh, soak the tea bag in um, hot water, boiled water. The tea bag was full of hops, not tea, but soak it in boiled water for 10 minutes and then just drop the whole water and tea in the bag and the whole thing right in the fermenter. Um, I opted because it's dry hopping. I opted to add a little bit more hops. So I rummaged, rummaged around and grabbed whatever hops I could find. Um, it was some experimental hops. I don't even know the IBU. It was in my freezer. And so I opened it up and I dumped half of that in there. Or maybe I dumped it all in. I'm not sure. I just dumped it in. It was dry hops, uh, pellet hops. And I let that go for another few days. And that's what I've got. So the hops are there just enough to counteract the... Um, you know, the chocolate and add complement the chocolate flavor of the beer. You know, I'm, I'm horrible at describing flavors, really. Mm. Yum, uh, sorry, Young's Double Chocolate Stout. I haven't had one in a while. If you've never had one of those, give that a whirl. Uh, this is, um, this is good. I, I'm, I'm very surprised. I really am, you know. That's kind of a, that's uh, kind of 
um, I guess why I called the video I'm an extract brewer because I'm not ashamed of that uh, I'm not throwing away my mash tun don't don't get the wrong idea but in my lifestyle I have just found over the years that extract brewing is for me really the most convenient and uh, time-saving way to do it um, it's not the cheapest way to brew beer but certainly a hell of a lot cheaper than buying beer where I live so what the hell I've got the carbonation nice it's not overly carbonated um, it tastes like if it was to warm up a little bit it might even get a little better as far as the flavor goes it might start giving off some more of its um, characteristics but I can tell you that that is a good beer something sticky on the bottom that's a good beer I really do if I really do approve this is this is a good a good chocolate stout um, very good quality I'd have to say so there you go so that's that's nice we'll put that down for just a minute um, you know again I, I don't want to downplay uh, all grain brewing or anything like that it's just not for everybody it's as simple as that it's not for everybody um, some people absolutely love to do that and I enjoy it when I do it and I haven't done it in quite a while um, but I I like beer and I like to drink it and I don't like to pay a lot for it and I am a busy guy so I you know I'm all for this uh, the last thing I brewed about uh, oh, a week ago I guess was this this is another one of these I found this at my homebrew supply shop I've brewed one of these before um, make your own crafted beer it was excuse me it was a liquid again liquid malt extract yeast and a little thing of hops which I will throw in well I guess in a couple maybe soon I guess maybe in a day or two I'll just dump those in um, came with all that uh, $21 so you know we'll see how that turns out I have brewed these before and they've tasted good so you know um, that's that so that's over there waiting um, I figured because you know you buy the Coopers and it, it's the liquid malt extract and their yeast but it doesn't come with any hops and for the same price I got a bag of hops so um, you know that these are pre-hopped but that's going to be a dry hop procedure there so I thought what the hell hopefully my homebrew supplier complete home brewing um, carries more of those because I'd like to try some of the other flavors uh, that they have I don't know who makes them Let's see doesn't really have a what the hell not that I can see it right now but I, I don't think it has a brand so it's probably who knows it might well it's probably made by Coopers or, or Muntins or something who knows who, who knows who cares doesn't matter easy way to make good beer if this isn't good beer I'll tell you right now I'll drink out of my shoe I'll drink it out of my shoes it's good beer um, I have no problem with this whatsoever I've been uh, tasted all kinds of home brews over the years I was in the uh, SJ pour competition a couple of years ago so I had an opportunity to taste quite a few home brews that were sent a couple of stouts and a lot of them were all grain and hey they were some were good some were pretty good and some were excellent um, this I would I would I would enter that into this contest into that contest um, probably one wouldn't win but I would proudly enter this into a a, uh, a contest like that but I'm not a competition kind of guy you know I keep my life kind of as simple as I can I uh, just brew it to save money and it's easy doesn't take a lot of my time I mean I just do it right here some of you might be wondering where my induction burner is well it's over there I've plugged it in on my dryer my, my laundry uh, dryer over there I've plugged it there because uh, sometimes when I'm using it over here it blows a fuse because I've got <laughs> down here I've got so much stuff plugged into the same outlet there you know my computer these lights um, my my audio equipment everything you know it's all plugged in that thing draws 18, 1800 watts and after a while the plug gets really hot and it blows a fuse so I've decided to put it on its own circuit well it's on the circuit with the hot water heater which is gas so it, that's nothing um, and it makes more room over here so I can brew more stuff and yes I know this is 
got some people say, well, how come you're, you know, it's, you, why don't you clean up? This is an old door. Um, when I first moved in here, uh, the neighbors um, were abusive to each other and eventually got you know, kicked out. And they had to clean up the unit and the, the house and a lot of stuff was damaged, including some doors that were kicked in. And so I found this in the bulk garbage to be taken away. And it's a door. And there's just a little hole in the bottom. I guess the, I guess the boyfriend got mad one day and went, poof, and kicked the door in. So it's just got a little hole in the bottom. So my dad and I, you know, he helped me build the frame for it, which you can't see, but, and uh, it's my workbench. And it's taken a beating over the years. It's all, you know, scraped and stuff, but it, hey, that's what it, you know, you don't want to have everything so shiny and, and uh, you know, and, and pristine because then you're afraid to do anything. It's like when you buy a barbecue. You know, if you're a guy or a gal, hey, I'm a sexist, you know, I'm not a sexist guy. If you buy a barbecue, you know, and I've done this, and it's beautiful, you put it all together, it's shiny and beautiful. How do you feel the first time you cook on it? It's like, uh, I gotta gonna make this thing dirty and stuff's gonna fall on the bottom and everything and of course you just have to live with it you have to grin and bear it and enjoy your new barbecue as it gets ruined over the years but hey some some say that the older a barbecue gets the better it cooks so there you have it um, so that's what we've got here and just my little brewing area this has not really changed much um, a few things have been moved around down here but everything's basically the same around here so you know, that's it. I'm gonna be um, gonna be brewing soon, and I need to ramp up my uh, my YouTube presence, and that's why the Craig's Kitchen series is being planned to come back. I've said this before. Oh, wine? Well, of course, of course. Let me just go off camera just for a sec. Let me grab this. Uh, I still brew these, and I swear by them. I still do these. And that's a, um, that's a, that's a California, no, well, that one's a uh, pin, I'm not a wine guy. I love drinking it, but I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Pinar Noir uh, style, it's a red wine. And uh, these things are dead easy to make. Again, it's, it's an extract. It comes with, uh, well, it's got the yeast in there and the, um, the bentonite and the stabilizers, the, the sulfites and whatnot, the sorbate, the clarifier. This one didn't come with any um, um, any oak chips, but they gave me a couple of these that they had lying around. So I'm going to add that to it and just put that right in there. And I'm going to brew this for my son's 20th birthday. So he's got some bottles of wine around and saves him some money on, uh, on buying his own beer. So that's what's going to happen with that plus i'm going to be brewing another one for me so there'll be two of them here brewing away it's just it making alcoholic beverages is so easy and you feel powerful because i can make a bottle of wine for two bucks now i know in some parts of the united states you can get a bottle of wine for two bucks but it ain't excuse me it ain't as good as this and in canada no you can't get a bottle of wine for two bucks it's ten bucks I think seven or eight, you know, at the most, at the least seven or eight dollars. And it's kind of the cheapest wine you can get. So this stuff's not like that. And this is um, one of the cheaper wine kits, actually. Um, there, ha there are more expensive ones and I've tried them. And not being a wine connoisseur myself, I, I couldn't really tell much of a difference between the $67 box of wine and the $100 box of wine, but that's just me. You know, someone else who has the, the palate for wine, like, you know, the way that some people, you know, they swish it around, they spit it out, you know, all that, maybe they could tell. I can't really tell. Uh, for me, it, uh, it tastes like red wine and it tastes better than the sewage, I mean, the stuff that you buy in the store. <laughs> in the store. So I shouldn't say that. There's some good wines out there, but they're expensive. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm still rocking down here. Got to do some organizing. And, but in the meantime, this is probably warmed up just a little. Um, this glass I bought for camping, which we don't go anymore because the kids are older now, so we don't bother. It's, it's plastic. 
and it's a beautiful little vessel. Can't break it, which is good because I've broken many glasses. I actually broke my favorite Carlsberg glass a while ago. I was heartbroken. The thing was with me for years and years, and finally it it went. So it was my favorite glass of all time. It was sent to me a long time ago. So anyway, listen, I'm going to take one more sip of this, and I'm going to let you guys get back to whatever it was you were doing before you sat down in front of this video. Cheers. I enjoy this. That has a nice spice to it. Not a spice like a hot spice. It has a nice spice to it, a nice flavor. You can taste the chocolate. You can taste the spice. You can just taste the hops. I'm glad I added extra because you can just taste them. And it's it's holding out with as far as um, you know looks goes. Got a little cap on it there. Some nice foam going on. It's a good beer. That's all I can say. So if you're looking to, if you can get these, maybe where you live, I don't know, um, give them a try. This is not a sponsor. I did not get paid to do this. This was sent to me for free. I didn't pay for it, but it wasn't sent by, it was sent by a viewer. And so it's not a, it's not a paid advertisement, if you will. I'm just telling you that if I had another one of these, I would brew it again. That's my, that's my endorsement. Okay, guys? Listen, thank you so much for watching, and please check out all of my other venues. I'll put links down below to my live broadcast every Friday night starting at 10 p.m. That's 10 Toronto time Eastern. Um, it's radio. It's as simple as that. It's internet radio. That's what we're doing. T-shirts at tgtshirts.com. Please support the cause if you can. And... Um, that's about it for me, and I'm out. Good beer. Thanks, guys. Brew it. Doesn't matter. Don't let anyone say that you have to do it this way or you have to graduate to, you know, you're not in school. You don't have to make it to grade 13. Just brew how you like. That's all that has to happen. Don't let anyone tell you different, okay? Be safe. Thank you. See you later. Bye.